Entrance exam is over and we're in. We got some cracked suits with incantations, enchantments. Uh, a little bit more gushing over our grandma and our grandpa, right? Merlin and the... Basically the sage or actually no, she's the guru. And then we got introduced to other like characters. Cicely, uh, Maria, they're pretty cool. The other friends of August, pretty cool. August, great. Kurt sucks and he's going to do some dumb shit, but it's fine because Kurt exists. We can dunk on him and have these cool moments of, you know, our, our boy Shin just popping off. Now, I heard episode three is the one where everyone's really excited for him. Maybe some kind of crazy shit happens. Let's begin today's reaction. So be prudent? No. Go all out every time. Oh, okay. He can just like scan. Or like her bodyguard now, huh? <laughs> okay. August had the pretty boy Ikimen, you know, flower scenes too, so now. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't just do, but this is in Sicily's perspective, right? This is like Sicily's perspective. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Even in the opening, she's getting cucked by like hiding behind a tree while Sicily and Shin is doing their thing. Like this is... Can Maria get something? Is she just gonna be cucked forever? <laughs> Episode title is... Nothing. They don't want to spoil us. Yeah, I'm a bodyguard. We've gotten pretty close, huh? We're very casual. New girl? Alice As in, she's too childish. This character, I wonder if she's like uh, being blatantly shown as like an airhead, a little bit aloof, just kind of, you know, happy, happy, go lucky. But then she gets super serious at times. That's like, whoa, Gat Moe. Ah, so. Our class is pretty small. And this is like the S rank class, right? Yeah, that girl, the other orange haired girl, she's pretty. Talented, and then like these are all the S rank characters, right? Four, four, eight. So eight, ten. There's ten class. There's ten students who are like the peak of the school. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The body language study group. What the fuck is this? The one, the two before was basically enchantments and just that physical magic and just like attack magic. And this one's like what? What is this? Uh, what is this? Jack, dude, it looks like a bodybuilding club, but it's not. They're like cooking? I don't know. They got pans here. Body language. Physical strengthening magic. This guy loves it. So is it using magic to physically reinforce your body and therefore everyone's jacked, but it's like magically imbued strength and that's the body enhancement club? Alright. Yeah, you're all equals here, but they're too loyal. Alright. All of them. True. He should find his own club. He should make a club. Yeah, literally make your own club. Everyone would join. Linju's new character. Yuri Carl. Yuri Carlton. Yuri Carlton. Okay, memorize. You need like minimum of like three members or something? I mean, we got a faculty advisor here and we got five people that want to join us. Let's go in. Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We might as well live together. The hero study group? What an audacious name. Yes. Very vague in general, but you can just like learn everything. Because like Shin isn't good at just attack power magic. He's also good at enchantment. He's also good at swordsmanship. He's good at like everything. 
真にはぴったりかもな。That sounds cool if you make it called the ultimate. Everyone's making their decisions before Shin can even. School execs? Demons! Demons! Uh, what do we know about demons in this show so far? In season, in episode one, Grandpa said demons are beings in this world where even a human can become a demon. Any creature where their mana like becomes volatile, they can't control it, and then they like turn bad. That's like a demon, and a demon Nord is like a human-like demon, and that's the legendary thing that Merlin slayed back in the day, right? Okay. Why are they showing up? Is it because of Shin? Why? Art someone was creating these demons. Bald! Where's the demon hunters, man? Now, what if one of these people are artificially creating demons? Nah, no, they seem pretty decent enough. I want to believe Kurt's doing it, but I can't, because Kurt's probably too dumb to do that. He's stupid and evil, but he's not smart. I doubt he could do that. So the implication here is that demons are arising. Small margins, each, you know, whatever fucking uh, intervals that they're measuring, and it's artificially made. Someone is doing this, making the mono go crazy in people. Oh! There's Kurt! Oh, loser! <laughs> Dad's in trouble now! Yeah, fuck him up, Dad! Ugh. 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 With all due respect, Father, we are a chosen people. Yeah, chosen for A class. Not even S class. You got chosen for A class, and there's nothing wrong with A class, but if you're gonna be walking around saying you're chosen, bro, like, <laughs> you're second rate. <laughs> Ugh. He's gonna turn into a demon at this rate, right? Like, he has to. Like, if you look at his facial expressions, he's gonna go fucking crazy. Now, I hope he turns into a demon, and then we kill him. No, let's Sicily kill him. Oh, that would be great closure. Let's Sicily kill Kurt. But it's looking like, Dad's not? I don't know. I don't know enough about dad right now, but he's, you know, punishing him. He's saying, you shouldn't be doing this. What is wrong with you? So the son just sucks. He grew up in like a very, you know, uh, what's the word? Very gated, very privileged life and thinks that he's beyond everyone. But then he sees commoners doing better than him in merits. And at this school, you know, merits are everything. But he's like, the insecurity isn't letting him realize that he's weak. Mana will go out of control. He'll probably turn into a demon. Shin will do something, but I wish Sicily gets the last hit. Skill issue! He still thinks it's my girl. Smack him. Yeah, nice! Nice! Yes. Absolutely. This pose is fucking pretty crazy, but he just looks like a demon, huh? At this rate already. One more punch. One more punch from dad. What a piece of shit, son. Now, I don't want to play defense for Kurt, but like, do you think someone is making Kurt be more aggravated like this? Like the whole talk from the exec council of the school saying it's man-made artificial demons. You think someone already put some kind of X factor into Kurt and that's why he's acting more volatile than usual. Something like that, maybe. I don't even know who the mom is. He's <laughs> <laughs> grounded. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Kurt's grounded. He can't come to school anymore. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's just mad, but... Someone is doing something to Kurt. Was he always like this? There it is. Mr. Strum must be the one, you know, artificially creating demons. Or at least it seems like it right now. Oh, it was a it was a middle school. Exile from the Empire. 
So basically, he used to do demon experimentations on humans, and then he got exiled from the Empire. Then he went to middle school, and he's like, Hey kid, do you want to be my test rats? And these said no, and then Kurt said yes, and now it's like this. That's pretty much what's going on. Patch covering both eyes. Interesting. Why? Do we know anyone like that? I don't think we do. Oh! It's the guy in the opening with the vi with the fucking uh the it's not a visor. He's got like the fucking uh what, what's the word? Fucking, you know the X-Men guy that goes like pew, pew, it's not a visor, it's it's a fucking eye thing. I it's not a blindfold either. It's it's like a it's not a blindfold, it's like a mechanic contraption. I don't know what the fuck it's called. I mean they call it a patch, but isn't there a different word? I feel bad for the mom, but the mom is so stupid as well. God, they're all so stupid. They have no clue that he's the reason why Kurt's like this. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's gonna happen, mom. Kurt's grounded! Yeah, you're a special specimen to turn to a demon. You want some more power, kid? Here we go, more demon stuff. Now, I wonder if him becoming a demon will actually be a problem for us, or if we're still gonna one-shot. I wanna believe that we're still gonna one-shot. If he became a demon and was a close battle, hmm. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> EVIL! And he's just basically furthering his experimentation with demonic stuff using Kurds. Transition seems so fast here. I like it kind of. Grounded. Dad and mom might even die. Maria's figuring out, realizing that maybe he needs Kurt, she needs Kurt back in his life. Right, she needs Kurt back in her life so that Shin has an excuse to be a bodyguard again. She's very honest about her feelings now. Yeah. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. I think that's just because he's like a mountain boy and didn't understand like the social awareness and just kind of saying shit like this without realizing the implication. <laughs> Gushed. Really young. That was like his first test. My goodness. My googly moogly. My. <laughs> Three meters tall. You've done it again. You flexed accidentally. Wonder what she's good at. Demon! Demon! Kurt! Kurt! Where is he? There he is. Oh! Oh, 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 He's looking like fucking Akashic Records of Speed Castle. You see his mouth move, bro? This is difficult. Damn. Ooh. Healing. You got healing, right? My auto healing is kicking in. Broken. Is that from his jacket suit? The enchantments was well, quite difficult. What he say? It happened so fast. My visualization was incomplete. Visualization of the magic that he was casting for the barrier. I think. Let's kill him back then. Yo, he is tweaking. That's a demon. Absolutely not. 
I want to see Og fight. I haven't seen him fight yet. Shin's probably going to take care of business, but like, you know, I kind of want to see Og fight too. Kind of, you are. <laughs> I mean, is he wrong? These were middle school kids that just graduated. They've never hunted a demon before. This is, you know, life or death situation. I would not want to get them involved. No, he is right, but damn. Are we in your way? Yeah, you are in the way. Is this right? What are you going to do? Fucking, you want to say, hey, Sicily, Maria, get involved. They might fucking die. You know, all these kids, they got to get out of here. So <laughs> Your liabilities, you got to get out of here. Exactly. <laughs> Drag her. <laughs> and Og, you're out too, right? Alright, here we go. Yo, the demon animations, though. Did it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Okay, so the barrier casted was too rushed, so it did a did bit of damage, and I thought that he's gonna have some troubles here, but now he's like, oh shit, my bad. Oh my, okay, it's not even close. He's like, I'm trying to slow him down, bro's already done, he's already in the Yamcha post. We just started the battle, not even a minute in. Okay, it, it, he's cooked, he's done. <laughs> It's a new type of demonoid. Experimentation. Damn! Yo! What other anime are we watching that has animation quality like this during a fight? Other than Demon Slayer. Like, can you name a couple? Mushoku Tensei in, in its really hype moments, absolutely. This animation is peak. Kaiju 8, you're right. There's, there's a couple of peaks right there. It's, I don't know, it's just... I, I usually don't really care about animation too much. I'm the guy where it's just like, you got good voice acting, good soundtrack with a good story. I'll take a fucking Microsoft Paint, you know, animation. CGI, I don't really mind. Like Spider, for example, Kumo Desuka. I was fine with that because the story was so good. But it's like, I'll take good animation if you're going to give it to me. It feels really fucking good when the fighter are this, you know, invested into it. <laughs> don't you dare say New Gates. Don't you dare. All right, one more time. Show me it again. <laughs> Nah, end him, bro. Nah, nah. Fuck her. It's a good excuse to kill him right now. But Shin is too nice, and I'm an evil piece of shit. Imagine if there was a main character with my level of pettiness. Imagine there was a main character with my level of villain aura. <laughs> I would just be like, <laughs> you think you're gonna save your ass, <laughs> Bzz, monkey? <laughs> I hope he completely transitions. Destructo disc! Oh shit! That form! That fucking form! What's he charging up? Some Dragon Ball shit? Is he about to use some ninjutsu? What's he about to do? It kind of looks like Tenshin from Dragon Ball, bro. Okay, I don't think we've ever seen this before, have we? Have we? I've seen him use regular swords. I've never seen him, you know, summon a beam saber, though. Okay, all right, we got him magic swordsmanship involved. Enchantment boots. End him. Yes. In half. Torso gone. Head gone. Head gone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he killed him. And he's still a good guy, right? We made a compromise. He said that he's good, so he's trying to prevent him from dying and, you know, make sure he can turn back. But we still killed him, so we got both best of both worlds. Oh, that sword was imbued. I see. It was like, you know, had like magic 
It's fucking buzzsaw looking things, and that's the sword that he sliced with, right? Is this his first time killing a human? 15 years old, right? Killing the first human. Oh, what are they gonna think when they see Kurt's head on the ground? Honestly, I'm good. You should look at the guy on the ground, though. Listen, listen, call the ambulance, but not for me. Yeah, not a human. It's a demonoid. Not a human. They know how cracked he is, then. He deserved to die, man. He sucks. There is no redemption for Kurt. Wonder what kind of, like, um, thoughts he's gonna have now after he killed. post credit scene time. True. Grandpa killed one back when they became a legend, and we did it at the age of 15. What does that mean? Now, Kurt's demonoid form is probably not the same level as the first demonoid ever. But, you know, they're gonna glaze this guy. At the age of 15, you already repeated the events of your fucking, you know, great sage grandfather hero, bro. It's like, this is insane. Just like that. Yeah, he did. Underground. Yeah. Oh, he didn't. My boy, my boy Shin did, though. All credits. All the credits go to Shin. <laughs> Man, his reputation. Man, the amount of glaze Shin's gonna get moving forward. Is it, is it basically the whole point of this show? Shin's just like this humble guy that's just stupidly OP. You know, repeats the events of his grandfather. Everyone glazes him. He's like the second coming of the Messiah, the Merlin. <laughs> Our new hero. They're ready to abandon the current king of them and just like, like, basically just say, my liege. Like, fucking get on their knees. Like, we'll serve you for the rest of our lives. This is like seems like this. <laughs> All according to Ogg's plan. And that is today's episode of Wise Man's Grandchild and the Wise Man's Grandchild has become a hero. New hero, Shin. He has done the impossible. Only one person in history has ever killed a demonoid and that's our grandfather. And back then, that was such a huge deal that he has forever just become the hero, right? He is the Merlin, the great sage or something. But now, a 15-year-old child repeated the same events, and of course it's the wise man's grandchild. Crazy shit. The amount of glaze, the public relations, the reputation. It's gonna be crazy. Everyone's gonna be worshipping this guy. But doing this, again, attracts too much unwanted attention. And by doing so, other people are going to have his... It's basically a huge target on our back, right? This is the thing that we were trying to prevent. If we just release Shin to the wild, then different factions are going to want to, you know, get him, secure him. It's like an arms race because he is like the strongest being that's ever existed. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen. We did create a new club, the Ultimate Magic Club. And, you know, after the event of this, the amount of people applying to our club is going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next time. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.